Okay, what I have here is my six by six, call it the silverfish. Bought a brand new Exceed six by six. Ran it once across the yard with the Exceed body. The red one there, you can see it's perfect. Had the semi-used honcho body that actually came off the red one right there. But um, six by six, my idea was to make a recovery vehicle. Uh, that's the battery that came with it, a nickel battery. I put that one on there, a little six cell separate to run the winch. Push button on the inside right here. You can just reach in and do it. It actually has a four channel receiver, but the radio is just a two channel radio. So um, whatever compatible multi-channel radio, you can solve that winch issue. Decent winch, I think I give about 40 bucks for it, something like that. The winch could actually use a longer line and i'll show you that as we unfold the boom shocks are laid down at the moment to try to make it stiff this thing will raise up easily another inch and give huge articulation um, three motor on axles um, two speed controllers the actual chassis and rear end can be disassembled and unplugged in the harness and turn it into just a two-wheel drive vehicle anyway my plan was to make a recovery vehicle ramps come off attach right here can be driven up on not sure if that winch will pull a vehicle up on it might pull the lightweight honcho up i've never really tried that that wasn't the intent the winch is actually on the boom as a more of a recovery type thing um let's see it run For reference let's see table is 30 inches wide thing is 32 inches solid 14 inches wide uh let's see and it's just under 14 pounds about 13 and a half pounds the way it sits right now significantly lighter but all of the bed you can see these screws those are screwed into original holes on the chassis so about 10 minutes and you can remove that entire bed and boom that we will see here in a few moments and make it nothing but a rock crawler okay let's make it rock. all right that's just the ramps down and the boom still folded up could drive up on uh, I didn't put a battery in the honcho. Actually, I disconnected the drive shaft so we could tow it. But oh, my front end won't roll. But once once loaded, the ramp still stow away up underneath the vehicle, out of the way. Okay, let's do this like this. This stows underneath. Very simple design. See, you gotta kind of flex this out, which actually holds that in there solid and keeps it from vibrating. But now the boom folds completely out. The ramps. Okay. The dog does not come with this sail. Peter. Okay. Boom. Got my hook, a little weight. That worked. The winch line is like a 36 inch line. I think you can get a 60 or 72 or something like that. A longer line would be good because there's a lot lost in this right here. But the line is actually protected underneath. It rolls on above the wheels so it keeps it guided. It also lets, helps you fold it. Yes, it does work. Custom headache rack. If I told you where I got that, it's top secret. Okay, there's a hook. That's a nice, worn $10 hook on that. Man, I need that on my construction stuff. No, I'll leave that on here. Uh, got that other Jack Lake chain there because we're going to snatch on the front here.
drive up the ramps onto the back and just use this as a hauler. The honcho has a freewheeling rear end where I disconnected the drive shaft and it's not tied down, so it's moving around a bit. 